So in the previous video we discussed the structured text program that we're going to build and we went through our inputs, outputs and how the system was set up and the uh, activity we're going to make the system carry out. So go to the Codasys version 2.3 software, file a new project And as usual, as in the previous emails or the previous videos, we uh, want to choose the PLC that we're going to connect to. So this is the Festo CPXCC C1. And at this stage, as usual, we don't have to worry about any of the other target settings. Press OK. We're going to leave the first PLC underscore PRG name. We want to create a program. And for this example, I'm going to use the CFC language for the first piece of programming, uh, continuous function charts. And OK. <coughs> so as I explained before, the PLC, the Festo PLC is set up to, when it's put into run, it will go looking for a program called PLC underscore PRG. So I am going to use this program to call all the other pieces of program that I write. And so I will need to set up a number of other programs. So if I go to PLC underscore PRG and right click, I can add more programs. So this one I'm going to call start stop. Doesn't like spaces, so use an underscore. This is going to be a program and it's going to be in structured text. And another, right click add object. This is going to be the sequence program and structured text. And another, I'm going to add a little program for timers. And another for counters, add object and now in each of these I will do a piece of structured text programming and but I, but for the PLC to actually use that program it, we have to call it so this is where where we make the call in PLC underscore PRG so I'm going to double click into it and pull in this box and highlight the AND, press F2, go and find user defined programs. So these are the ones that I've just created. And I'm going to call the start stop as the first program. Press enter. And another one. This one is going to be the sequence. And another. F2, I should call them, counters, and another one for timers. <coughs> so basically now, whenever I've done all my pieces of programming, and uh, I upload my uh, project to the PLC, PLC when put into run will go looking for PLC underscore PRG and because I have put each of my programs in here it will use them, call them and use them. So come back to the next video and I'll show you how to set up your inputs and outputs.